good time. There's gonna be good time. What it do, my lovely viewers, is that Nasha Kia about to make another video. Let's go, let's get it, let's go. Now you guys are probably thinking, what is going on? Where are you? <laughs> um, and I know that I've been missing for quite some time and I haven't put out a video consistently. Um, and that is just due to the fact that there was a lot going on um, and I just couldn't find the time to actually make a video and like editing and all that is really really time consuming so let's get into the fact that why I'm in this room so I've moved to London and I'm at university now I'm a big girl I'm studying media I'm in my first year and I think for me I feel like you guys don't really know that much about me apart from the fact that I make videos so I thought before I just jump into putting out a comedy skit or a rant or whatever I should actually just do like an update video and let you guys know what's been going on in my life and what I've been getting up to. So I've been in London for the past two, three months and so far so good. I'm really, really enjoying myself. I've met some great people. A lot of you are asking about how old I am. I'm 19 years old. Um, I am Somali. I see a lot of comments asking if I'm Somali. I am Somali. In case you didn't know. Um, I wasn't born in Somalia, I was born in Finland. I came to the UK when I was about eight years old. So I've been here since I was eight. Moved to Bristol. Um, so I've been living in Bristol for the past 10, 11 years? 11 years? 11 years. Shout out to maths. <laughs> so I've been living in Bristol for the past 11 years and I've only recently moved out. Also, if you guys have any questions or if there's anything that you want to find out about me or anything that you want to ask me, I was thinking about doing the 50 facts about me tag, um, but I just wasn't sure whether people would watch that. I don't know. Let me know. Also, another thing that I wanted to talk about was my channel. Um, I actually want to change like the direction of my ch The thing is, my channel doesn't actually have a direction. It's just a bit all over the place. Um, and that's due to the fact that when I first started my channel, I just wanted to make videos. I didn't really care what they were on or what they were. I, I did care what they were about, but not so much as I do now. And I've realized that I have a lot of young girls who watch my channel um, and say they look up to me and, you know, I inspire them and all that. So I kind of wanted to make my channel a bit more meaningful. Um, so another thing that I did want to start doing was advice. Um, whether it's like friendship, school advice, exams, that kind of thing. But obviously put like a comedy twist on it. So it wouldn't just be like a serious... Um, I need to get some water because my throat... A girl be thirsty, you know? Um, so yeah, I want to ask you guys to let me know what you want to see on my channel because there's no point in me making videos if people aren't going to watch or comment below, let me know what you guys want me to talk about, what kind of videos you want to see. Um, I can see that a lot of the Somali videos that I do are the most popular ones, so if you want to see more of those videos. So a lot of you have asked me, um, do I work? What do I do? How do I make money? I'm not working at the moment, I was working. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on the jobs that I've done, so make sure you look out for that. I've been a young campaigner for the past three to four years. So what I do is I campaign against female genital mutilation and violence against women. And also try to promote awareness on gender-based violence and gender equality. So I go into schools and deliver talks and sessions and workshops with young people, sometimes with medical professionals um, and people in the social work sector. Um, and I do that with my charity called Integrate Bristol. It's not my charity, but I'm part of the charity. Um, but all the links are going to be in the description box. So if you want me and a few members of the organisation to come and deliver a talk and I could maybe perform, um, make sure you nag your head teachers and make sure you get your head teachers to check out the links that I've put in the description box. Um, I can't think of anything else that I feel like I could update you guys with. Um, 
I think that's about it. But like I said, if you guys have any more questions or anything, just literally comment below and maybe I'll do an update part two. Who knows? Um, but I'm going to end the video there. I don't want it to drag out. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. And I'll see you next time.